right so i got it so we were invited by cherry international into their crash test site for a series of live crash test performance which is very interesting things to hear because not many automakers out there are willing to share on their crash test result well let's have a look what we have here today All right, so folks, that concludes the first test of the day. Of course, both cars have successfully crashed against each other at 50 km speed. So um, this test, of course, is not part of the protocols being used in ASEAN and CAP or even the Chinese and CAP test because usually that detects one moving car against a stationary object. But the aim of this test today is just to show the rigidity of the body frame in these charity go cars. And as a result, as you can see from up close, both the A and the B pillars are still intact and in fact, of course, the only damaged part is actually the front part, which is of course the crampozo, which are meant to be damaged in case of accident. But more importantly, you can see the inside occupants are in safe conditions. All the airbags at the front have been deployed during the crash. So, it goes to show that, yes, the body frame is still intact. Let's move on to the second test. All right, folks, so for the second test here is just a simple water wading depth test. And this time around, we got two Cherry Tigo 8 plug-in hybrid, the PHEV model. And the water depth is about 450 millimeters, which is about your average uh, flash floods kind of depth. But as you can see, the car can just traverse to the water in a very good manner because, again, this is a plug-in hybrid, so the engine doesn't kick in, so you can just use this car for shallow water wading like this. But of course, it's not advisable for you to traverse any uh, fast currents of water you, in your car which is, can be quite dangerous but goes to show that in case of emergency the Tigo 8 PHEV can handle shallow water wading depths like this right folks so that concludes the rolling test the last test of the day as you can see uh, the car is still all right it's still intact and as you can see of course there are some dents and scratches and everything well that's the nature because the car just slid off of the tarmac for a couple of meters from the ram there and if you notice the key integral body frame part is still intact including the a and the b pillars and you can see for so from the inside all the airbags are being deployed especially the curtain airbags are being deployed on time which is important to keep all the occupants safe and you also notice the left part of the door is that are actually can still be open so meaning that occupants inside can exit the car in a safely manner so overall body structure still good all right so in conclusion while it is easy to dismiss this effort as just being a mere showboat it is good to see automakers like cherry willingly opening their doors to let us see what's going on inside their crash test site well, as a result, you can see many of the Cherry Tigo SUVs have been garnered a five-star rating in many crash test protocols, including ASEAN NCAP, Australia NCAP, and even the Euro NCAP. So safe to say, when it comes to safety, Cherry does really not take things lightly.